they have upgraded the road to the final cards and we're going to have a look at them right now guys so some of them haven't been upgraded that should have been i'll get to that in a second and if you're new to the channel and enjoying the content feel free to drop a thumbs up the first card that we've got with an upgrade guys is going to be a barella there on the screen as you can see he's gone from an 89 to a 90 however he's had one pace one dribbling two defending one physical one passing and two shooting which was literally just ones and twos Ooh, three finishing among that two shooting which is quite nice passing is just ones and the dribbling is also just ones and the defending is twos which is genuinely really nice and the physical is just ones we'll go and have a look at what chem style uh better works for him we've also had a david alaba upgrade of course real Madrid won that first game he's been upgraded from an 89 to a 90 one pace two dribbling two passing which is really tasty one physical shooting and defending nearly nearly got myself mixed up there gabriel martinelli should have had an upgrade guys because the upgrade path for the um europa leagues are if you advance to the round of 16 you get an upgrade well arsenal are guaranteed to go through to the round of 16 thus they should have had like he should have had an upgrade um after this first round of games of course manchester united did win the game against barcelona and qualified through for some reason, Martial hasn't yet had the uh, upgrade, which is quite interesting. Oh, he has. He's a 90. He is a 90. So he's he's gained 92, 88, 81, 93, 89. He's got two passing as uh, Anthony Martial. Oh, let me have a look at Martinelli then. Maybe he has upgraded. No, he's still a 90. Um, and Martial's got 93, 44, 76, 94... Too physical on Martial. Very nice indeed. Uh, we've had DRB SBC got upgraded. One pace, two shooting, one dribbling, two physical. Uh, Chiesa should also have been upgraded. He is also an 89 now. So he's gone from 94, 86, 83 to 95, 87, 85. So a two passing boost there. And a one dribbling and a two physical for Chiesa. That's a nice upgrade. Uh, Lucas Mora, I don't think Spurs are played yet, have they? No, he's still an 88. Uh, Raspadori's been upgraded, I believe. Now, yes, this is what I wanted to see, guys. I wanted to see if the plus one inform was a plus one or a plus one inform under the new inform situation. And it looks to be the plus two, which is amazing. That Raspadori has gained two pace, um, two shooting, three passing three physical two defending and two dribbling and is now especially with the four star five star looking to be quite a tasty card Ferran Torres of course will not be upgraded Eric Lamella uh, he should be upgraded as well yeah he's up to an 88 rated card now for Eric Lamella as well so he's gone 87 85 87 so uh, it's literally two pace two shooting two passing he's also gained two dribbling three physical and three defending uh, he didn't really get such as a big upgrade, which is quite interesting. We've got Calvin Phillips, um, who shouldn't have been upgraded, right? No, that's correct. And then we've got Ofana, who wouldn't have been upgraded. Marlon is still an 87. Uh, Volan should have been upgraded. Oh, no. Oh, no. Monaco went out, wasn't it? It was Monaco against... Uh, it was it was Voland against Diaby, wasn't it? Atal is still an 87, I believe. Correct. And uh, Felipe Anderson should have been upgraded. He has been upgraded to an 87. 93 pace from 91. He's gained three shooting, two passing, three physical, and two dribbling. I'll tell you something, guys. Some of these cards now could be really good. Raul Socio Dad, Brace Mendes, still an 86. Uh, Miranda, much like Martinelli, should also be another one that is just an 88 anyway. I don't know why they haven't been upgraded. Uh, Forsberg for Leipzig, still an 86. Uh, Tuta for Frankfurt, still an 85. And uh, Schaefer, the Silver Stars, has gone up plus one. He's gained four pace, four shooting, four passing, four dribbling, three defending and three physical. That's actually quite all right, to be fair, isn't it? I mean, that is coming along. As the Silver Stars goes, guys, this might be one of the best uh, going forwards. Nobody expected Union Berlin to qualify. Uh, maybe not, actually. They're doing well in the Bundesliga. So let's have a look then, guys. So Felipe Anderson now up to an 87. I mean, his stamina is much better, which is nice. 
His passing's quite nice. His dribbling's real nice. His pace is real nice. You've got a couple of options with him. Four star, four star. Oh, I don't know if they've had weak foot and skill move upgrades. Um, I don't think they have. Four star, four star here. Could go for like a dead eye and then drop him into that cam roll. It's quite nice. You could go for a maestro. That's really nice. Gets that passing up. Gets that shot power and long shots up. Gets that dribbling right up. And gets that pace up. Or alternatively, I quite like the engine on him. Maximum pace. Well, not maximum pace, but you know what I mean. 97, right? Um, 96 agility. 99 dribbling and balance. And then a big boost in passing as well. That's a really cool card, that Philippe Anderson. And he's 64k at the moment as well, which is quite interesting. Lamella down at 36k. I'm sure his price will come up because he's an 88 rated. Can also play Cam. He's only four star, three star, which, you know, we all know Lamella. He just should have five star skill moves. This card, I don't particularly like the dribbling too much. So again, it's going to either be a marksman to boost that dribbling, shooting, and physical. Or, do you know what? I like that. Or maybe something like a catalyst for a change. Uh, get that pace right up, get that passing right up. He's got good shooting from range and good dribbling. Um, I do like the dead eye on him as well. Brilliant shooting, very good passing. But uh, I think I would go with Marksman. You know, the agility of balance isn't superb, but reactions, ball control, and dribbling are. All types of shooting are, and physicals are. That's a really good card, especially for 36,000 coins. We've got Raspadori up to an 88. Can play left mid cam and striker. He's got four star skill moves, five star weak foot. And this upgrade on him is nice. I, I like straight away, my mind just goes to engine, right? Get the pace up, get the passing up. Get that agility, balance, and dribbling up. He's got better physicals, which is nice. His positioning and finishing are brilliant, and then otherwise shooting is okay. I think that's a real cool card with, uh, you know, the way Napoli are playing at the moment. Great chance of getting upgraded a fair few more times, uh, which is quite nice. We've got Chiesa as well, up to an 89 for Juventus beating Nantes. Uh, Four-star, four-star on Chiesa. Great pace. And it, like it, it's much the same with a lot of these players, right? It's either going to be... The, the maestro to boost up the key stats in dribbling, passing, and shooting for a cam, something like that. With his 95 pace, you wouldn't mind it. A dead eye to really boost the passing and shooting. Also, at cam, you wouldn't mind it. Or an engine, I think, for him as well uh, to boost that pace, dribbling in the key areas. That's a great dribble card. That is great pace and great passing. I would probably go with engine on him. Doesn't translate well in like the, um, the rating per position, but maximum pace superb agility balance reactions and dribbling good shooting and very good passing that's a very good card anthony martial guys what a game that was last night right um 90 rated now four star four star i mean as far as a a striker goes a hawk is, is just got to be it right great pace great shooting very good dribbling for a striker very good passing with 95 curve He's got the outside the foot shot trait, the finesse shot trait, and it gives him good physicals. Or if you want that like top top pace, you just give him a hunter. Um and you get that top top pace. I do think it's not unreasonable to go for an engine uh to boost the agility, balance, dribbling, the pace and the passing. Of course, the shooting misses out, in which case, if you're not overly keen on pace, the finisher is probably a really good chem style. Agility, balance, dribbling, superb, ball control, superb. Positioning, finishing, shot power, outrageously good. That as a striker, I mean, there's a reason he's a million coins. And now Man United have got past Barcelona. You would expect them to go relatively deep into the competition, if not win it, right? They're in good form. They've beaten one of the better teams there. So there's every potential that Anthony Martial gets a massive, massive card. David Alaba, guys. Ooh, this card. Compared to his other cards now, he's still not there in some stats, but... I mean, four-star weak foot, pop a shadow on him. Great pace, great defending, great passing, great dribbling, especially for a centre-back. Very good physicals. He's just an insane card. If he goes and gets like 91, 92, 93 rated with five-star, five-star or more traits or whatever, it'll be uh, one of the cards that'll just be in people's team for the whole game because he is an absolutely fantastic player. And then Barella, guys. 360,000 coins for Barella. Only three-star, three-star, which does suck. However... Short passing, long passing, and vision are great already. Aggression is great. Stamina is near perfect. Physicals are just very good in general. Defending is very good in general. Dribbling is amazing. Pace is good. Shooting is okay. I mean, a shadow on him. You've got yourself a DM of absolute dreams. 
okay, it doesn't have four star, four star, but my good lord, that is an utterly, utterly bonkers cards. Guys, if you've got any of these cards in your team and you're using them in game, let me know how you're enjoying them with the new upgrades. If you didn't know they've been upgraded, go try them out. You know, Foot Champs is here. But for now, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.